The mountains and valleys mourn the death of Wang Di, founder of the Great Sui Empire. His second son, Yang Di, has inherited the throne and his father's grand vision. Work on the still unfinished Grand Canal system must be carried through to completion. Like a vibrant artery connecting head and heart, once completed, the Grand Canal will link the southern rice basket with the populous north. The southern terminus of the Grand Canal will be at Yangzhou, near the mouth of the great Yangtze River. It is there where you have been sent. To oversee construction of this leg of the project and to guide development of the city. While commoners toil on the project, however, the elite of Yangzhou can now enjoy the fabulous new art of drama, especially when performed at a theater pavilion accompanied by talented musicians and nimble acrobats. Meanwhile, our new emperor keeps a watchful eye on the ignoble kingdom of Kogyo. Do not be surprised if troops are needed to campaign there. All right, welcome back to Emperor. We are building another portion of the Grand Canal. So let's go straight to the city and see what we do here. Um, this time, because this will be a more relaxed mission where we don't have to fear imminent invasions, I think um, I want to put some more effort on building a nice looking city and really um, have a nice design so we are going to try to do that um, I will do something I call the handlebar design in between those two rock formations here but I will also um, how do we do this do all the farming or try to do all the farming here because of course um, it's very good water table and I will try to build the elite housing on the other side of the canal so we will do that first build the elite housing because we do not have a lot of exports on this map um, our main export is tea but tea is not too valuable so um, yeah we also have to import silk to give to our elite housing as well as um, lacquerware so we need to make sure we can make enough money which we'll do through taxing the elite because if we have heavenly compounds which is a goal um, you can tax them and make crazy amounts of money so that's what we want to do anyways enough talking and let's start building i will clear off this stuff here so we have a clear sight onto our building site here. As I said, I want um, to use those two rocks and we will do the following. Um, we will use the Grand Ways and when you're using Grand Ways, always make sure that the road is that's underneath is facing the houses and the decoration is facing the service building so like that the whole um, road underneath is here and we can build our watchtower and our inspector and then we will see what we can do we will of course build houses here and let's quickly see from the other side we will also do the same thing um, have the grand way face outwards have the inspector and the watchtower that should give us good feng shui on the inside yes very nice and then let's um we will need some space over here, so we can go on this side, maybe go like this, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we'll do eight, and then on this side I think we need to go only one row, if I'm not mistaken. 
and then on the other side we can go in a row of three so let's that's just to measure i will put these houses here first because they're closer to the entry point of the people and then we are going to do something like this that's just also to measure um you have to be careful because we don't have a ton of money so um, we will put in a grand market square in the middle if you will and then go oh, of course uh, that's already wrong let's quickly unpause we need to leave a gap of course in between of one and then have that like this and this gives us yes three houses like that although we do not want a house like this and then delete this and have eight houses here as well this lines up perfectly of course with the other side and perfect feng shui so far which is good and this can now also be deleted and that's what i call my handlebar design because we do have as a uh, it looks a little bit like a handlebar with the grand market in the middle what we need to do is also um, make sure that the inspector can cover our market and this does maybe look a little bit silly but just make sure that the inspectors can look into our markets these will be opened to employees and everything else should be working perfectly now this here is okay and now we can continue our grand way to the end and here we just do it like this and same thing on this side like that oops that's a little bit too far like that should be okay and we can put in some services for example we can put in a shrine here and maybe here then we need water and actually i forgot to put the grand way on this side of course we do want the grand way there and and we can put the shrine on this side we can put maybe herbalists and the acupuncturist like that and yeah the rest we can fill in with some houses we do leave some space for decorations of course that's here we can put some more houses here and there and put some houses here no actually let's not put houses here and let's maybe put some houses on this side like that and let's do the usual uh, religion for the big like for the start and then because we do kind of want our administrative city on this side come on becomes ally very good so let's 
already planned for that. I think that's four. So let's do. Uh, we did use the red wall, so let's do one, two, three, four. A row of decorations, and that's gonna be the edge of our housing area on this side. And then leave some space for decorations on this side as well, just to measure this out. And then this side we are going to use for farming. Now we will also do some fishing. So we will need this coast here to do some fishing. So let's set this up first because of course fishing is not seasonal so we can immediately take advantage of catching some fish. We will need, of course, um, some inspector coverage. Let's quickly see. No, let's not put a uh, put the inspector here. And then we can hook this up and use the rest of this to do some farming. We will irrigate, of course. So let's set this up and set up our farming area immediately. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Two farms. Um, we'll shift this one over just so we can also have the irrigation like this and have the oh no 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 and let's be careful here we have cabbage and rice available so we do one side cabbage here and then one side cabbage here, like that. And then we do the other side rice. And the other side rice, like this. And fill in the irrigation, like that. Oh, this ditch here is in the way. So let's do that irrigation ditch and go around the back. Very nice. Then we need the irrigation pump, which can just go on the end here. Doesn't have to be covered by an irrig irrigation ditch, but we sure can do that. Like that and then we would like to produce some hemp so let's do that produce some hemp um, we do not need that and we need to row block this off and put in a hemp farm on the hemp fields rather and go around the back like this and then we also want to produce some tea now I also want before I forget to build a road along the canal here and then build a road through the back to connect up with this side of the map like that this here can be deleted and then we can build the wall around there let's just continue 
the wall like that. Hopefully we can evolve those two buildings here. And yeah, now we need to build our tea farms. Like that. We want probably three tea farms right away. Looking good, looking good. Just go all out in the beginning. T farm here. And the ditch will be shifted by one. Um, here, it's gonna be like this. And then one more T farm, which we will. Build like this actually. Let's do that. And then have the irrigation go around like that. Very good. And of course, we need to. Put down the tea bushes. Two and three. Very nice. I did that just because I do not want these awkward double ditches around here. And this here should be functioning fine. So now, um, yeah, this is looking good. So, Let's just put in. I put in Buddhist shrine here. No, Taoist shrine. No. Okay. Um, then let's just put in a pavilion. Also not okay. Okay. Um, how about a dog? Dog it is. And then gardens through the mill. And here, kind of a nice row of trees now what we also um, of course need is a mill which i want to put on this side of the map so let's see where the mill can go uh, let's increase the wage rate Okay, the mill can go here. So let's put that down. And then we'll have a inspector cover this area. Like that. And then, of course, we need to protect our housing block from the terrible feng shui of, or terrible desirability, rather, of our mill. So let's finish this off. Then we can decorate the inside of our city. Very nice. Good. This will hold, of course, hemp and ceramics. Um, yeah, that should be it for a moment, actually. So let's do hemp and ceramics and just wait for some people to move in. Now, if we put the administrative city there, yes, we still should have space to put in a statue there and then put in some more houses here 
And then same goes to this side. I think two more houses, three more houses there. Should still be able, yes, to house our administrative city. Very good. Uh, this has already evolved. Let's see that we can evolve these two buildings and also this. Perfect feng shui. Perfect. Uh, fish should come in soon. And actually that reminds me um, we do not want any of this operating except for fish because we need the workers. We already want, as always, to produce some ceramics for the gods. Nice. We can actually make use of this feng shui there. Very good. Fish is already coming in, which is great. As soon as we have some fish available, we are going to use or are going to provide the fish to our people. Here we can put in some cherry trees. And maybe a pavilion. Looking very nice. Fish is coming in. Um, canal, yes. Let's send out trade requests to Changzhou and Lanzhou. We do that because Lanzhou, I know they produce a lot of food which we want to import and I think Changzhou uh, will produce lacquerware which we need to import. It's just, uh, I think I remember that from previous playthroughs. Just wondering um, later yes look at that ah let's just do it right away it's so nice um our city is looking good there's still many people coming in we have unemployment which is great um we do have Sabi is discovered, okay. Um, Chang An, what do they sell? Um, weapons. They don't really. They buy paper, which we could sell. Okay. If we need, maybe we could later produce some more paper than we need to sell. paper makers can go there but let's actually can we squeeze Chang An there no it's a shame Chang Zhou yes okay let's quickly check hazards um Okay. What's going on here? Let's quickly see how they finished around. High risk of fire. This should be fine. Should be fine. All right, we have fish, so let's provide fish
and plant food. And actually, I do want to produce a little bit more hemp. So let's go around the back here. Actually, uh, yes, okay. And with that, we can irrigate here. So let's do that and build another hemp farm here. One, two, three, one, two, three. That's build hemp fields and finish the irrigation and then because we have unemployment let's just turn on everything when does the start begins in march yes very good employees needed seven that's perfect okay so here going to delete those trees and we are going to put down our administrative city like that we're going to put down for the moment two paper makers to connect this up before I forget because I remember I forgot this next time uh, last time is that the, the access to our stone is very very awkward so let's connect this road access here before I forget to do that, because I will lock everything here and then it's going to be a little bit awkward. So this is good. And then I wanted to do the following. I wanted to roadblock this. Build kind of like a trading station area here. Like that. And then make a loop, I think, somewhere around here. Should be able to put a mill. Yes, perfect. So we're going to do that. And then we're just going to sell all the tea we can. Tea and tea. And here we're going to sell paper while we import just a little bit of weapons because we do need just a little bit of military because if we have a request for military, we need to be able to send off at least one soldier. That's enough to not make people angry at us. So as soon as we produce some tea, all this tea should go this way and be dropped into there. Um, we are evolving our houses, which is great. Let's make sure that our agriculture is prioritized. We have some ceramics, which we can already give away to our goddess. We do want to tax our people, so let's set that up. Government is taking a hit at the moment, I think, which is fine. As soon as some money comes in or I'd re I should say food we should be able to continue building I think this road we don't really need 
this canal we start building as soon as everything is stable and we're making some decent money. Let's save. This would be 36A. I'd love to decorate already, but um, we just don't have enough uh, money to do so. Um, fish is still going out. I am just going to put one row of gardens here, just to make sure this evolves. Like that. Yes, and now we have to be careful because we're in debt and we have no way to really make back money fast. Our tea will take a while when it's harvest August, so yeah. For an adversary, ah, oh, we do get some money, which is great. Thank you very much. And I do want to... Military? Okay. Oh, okay. We need to provide access like this. And put the roadblock here. So that he has road access. Fine by me. We do also need a warehouse here for later. Some tea is coming in, which is great. This at the moment will just not accept anything. I just put it down so I don't forget. So we put in some tea to sell. Yes, very nice. This here still hasn't received any food, but as soon as we get our harvest from here, it should be fine. We will build another farm next year on this side here, just to fully stabilize the food we can produce. Because I do think actually we can also sell some rice, yeah. So we will do that later. Yes, we can import silk, lacquerware, weapons. Very good. Everything seems to be going okay. We still need people. So we will wait until we harvest the first food. First round of food, I should say, so we can feed our people some good food and give them some hemp. It's already prepared for that as well. Then we're going to expand our uh, ceramics production and then I think we can already kind of start planning our uh, elite housing area which is going to be here. We do have some soldiers, which is great because that means we can send off some soldiers if we have a request. Um, we actually make some money, which is good. Just waiting for food to come in. Hemp is starting to come in as well, which will mean we can produce paper. We will want another paper maker which can go here or actually up there. So we can actually also sell some paper. Yes, we got some weapons. Very good. Just because we can. Some decorations. We have a steady stream of tea being produced. And now rice is coming in. And also, we still have some fish. I don't really want to rely on fish, so actually let's do that. That we have some fish. We will get some salt later. Then no spices, no wheat, no millet. 
more cabbage, more rice. That's what we want later. Because we will have a second mill down here for our elite housing. And they are going to enjoy, of course, very delicious food with um, rice, with cabbage and salt and something we import from Lanjo, which reminds me they declined our bread request. They need tea, so we will send off some tea or some rice later on. That trading depot then can go there. Yes. We s stay in the white, let's say, not going into the red. And well, tons of rice has come in, so actually we can start selling some rice because we have tons of it. Actually, we might even not need another, um, how do you say, another farm at the moment save some workers we really just want to provide plain food right away yes very good i think this is all looking great i think we can already start putting it Some cabbage, some rice, some salt, and I think we will import wheat as well. So do that. So we can dump some rice into here. Then we can already start, slowly start planning our elite housing block which will come or go here as i said we just need to be careful because we need rocks but we also need to be careful not to touch this road So maybe here will be the border of our elite housing area. Um, finally, some houses are evolving. So let's um, build some entertainments. Reminds me of something else important if we delete those trees here can we I am going to shift this road uh, no that doesn't work so let's um, do something like this. Actually, we don't even need this. We just need to make sure acrobats can go there. Oh, I didn't want to place it, but anyways. And then the theater school. Wait, what? Theater school, drama school, maybe, uh, it did look nice as a loop, but we need to be functional, one more over, uh, like that, see if he still goes around, And how are workers doing? We have unemployment, which is lovely. Does he walk all the way around? Yes, very good. Um, we can already get 
um, eight ceramics and eight silk over here. Oh, also tea. We will need eight. Um, entertainment is going around, which is perfect. So let's immediately invest in more kilns. Like that. Speaking of ceramics, probably should give out a gift and we can build some more ceramics production there. Oh, we did get into debt, so let's wait. For a second, but we don't need to import weapons at the moment, so let's pause that. Uh, we are. Oh, we do get rescue money, which is perfect. So. Yes, we just need to see. Yes, this is actually all. Oops. Uh, rice and cabbage is actually a little bit low so actually first let's stabilize that let's put in some irrigation on this side of the roads let's put in a farmhouse one two three one two three and build the roads build some cabbage patties or fields and some rice patties and irrigate that like that just to stabilize our food production hemp we should have more than enough we are selling some paper invest some of our workers into more paper makers we have still have some hemp. There's... Okay. Um... Okay. Let's just quickly see what happens here. The tea is coming down here. That's good. And yeah, I think we can start working on our luxury area we will need a red wall on this side and wall this off like that we will have a grand way like that and an imperial way like that um, it's going to be expensive so I'm looking a little bit at our money and carefully start placing stuff we need so what we also will do is have an inspector walk from here. And we will put in the Grand Market Square here. Have an inspector walk from here actually delete this road here 
No, actually, you want this route. And see how far this guy walks here, because maybe we can even use him to cover our stoneworks later while he covers our market square. Yes, he covers quite a big distance, so that's good. And now let's measure out some banks here. Hopefully, yes, that's looking good. one more and then it's the plum so three oh no no yeah let's go for plum so let's do one two three four five Just measuring with those trees where our elite housing area will be. And now let's close the loop and hopefully that's enough for our inspector to walk all the way around. We shall see. And if that's the case, how is our city doing, by the way? Uh, we have tons of unemployment, but we will take care of that immediately. So let's fix this. Let's put down the Grand West. that although of course I messed that up big time so let's fix this here we want the grand way all the way to the corner and then we will have a grand way like this actually here can go to the edge and then have our imperial way go like that and then let's see if that still works because of course we need that to not have any awkward intersections that's why I leave some roads to be normal Actually, also, let's quickly save here because I'm not concentrating on our rest of our city at all. So, um, let's see. That's good. Yes. So, Buddhist Pagoda. Can go here. So, let's put it down. Let's do... Uh, yes, we can dispatch um, our, our uh, troops, that's good. Let's quickly pause, let's put down Ancestral Shrine there, Confucian Academy here. Uh, we need Taoist Temple, maybe here. Very good. Then we need theater pavilion. Let's do that here. We will need a herbalist. And go here. Acupuncturist. And go there. And 
Yeah, all that's left is the drama school, which we already prepared to go over here. And of course, very important, we're going to put down the, oops, that's not what I wanted. The tax office there. Let's see how much employment that takes. Very good. Um, we will, of course, yes, tax very high. And then, can we... Our palace... Yeah, our palace could go here. Yes, we'll put our palace here, and then later decorate it with some nice roads around it. So let's actually do that and roadblock this. So here we need to import a little bit of silk. We will import a little bit of lacquerware. And we can actually... Oh yeah, we need some salt. Who sells salt? Oh, that's Banjo. So let's send off some rice. That's still fine. And see that we can import four types of food while we put down the shops. Food, we will immediately go to tasty foods. So let's not buy that at the moment. Hemp, ceramics, tea, silk, and lacquerware. This then, of course, needs to be open to market employees and oh no that's not good that's bad feng shui um tai chi park then can we put down one more What's that? Acupuncturist. If we move that to over here, or can we put... no. Okay, let's um, move... come on. Acupuncturist. If you go here and we delete that. Uh, what happens? Um, yes, that's good. We will send another trade request there and have this here. Um, no more hemp. Okay. Let's wait for hemp then. Oh, also we went into massive debt, I just realized. Uh, but I think we stocked up, yes, on silk and lacquerware which is good and we should be able to squeeze in last oh no more hemp really now we have hemp put that in and put in the wall around like that. Red wall. Oh, no more money. Okay. Then we'll have to wait a little while. Um, we did 
it. Get defeated, but that's no problem. Actually, we only have four, four infantry left. That's not so good. Um, okay. We will quickly build this. And if we can, we're gonna sell rice and tea. And we're going to import eight salt. And we said we want to import wheat as well. Of course, we don't have the money to do that at the moment, but we will try to at least provide appetizing food so we can evolve once. And for a moment, just quickly halt those imports. Just remember our god here. She probably wants a gift. And... Yeah, that's... Pretty much... Yeah, loads of rice coming in, so if we can sell some rice here, some rice here, we should be able to make some money back and immediately evolve those houses here. And as soon as they evolve, hopefully we can um, yeah, tax them at outrageous amounts and make back all of our money. We have tons of rice. Of course, it's very good. Do we have four types of food here? Yes. So actually, let's ask for tasty food immediately. And then if we have that, we will start building our monument. Actually, just to speed up this process, because it's going to take a while, we can already start with one uh, labor camp here. There you go. Food is coming back, so let's see how this evolves here. Happy New Year, yes, let's celebrate even though we're massively in debt, but heavenly compound, hopefully all of them evolve to the highest level. Yes, very nice. So these taxes now should help us overcome our money problems. This has already started. So we're going to quickly save here. See, very good. We need to make back this money so we can proceed, but it seems like um, food here is stable. Let's just quickly check on everything. This here, I want to finish this wall. So let's do that. This course here is a little bit tight here, but yes, that's fine. And then those alligators here, we are going to do something about them. We're going to build one defensive tower here, like that, and just if they get too close, we are going to shoot them. Um, I didn't catch the message, but I think we're fine. We are making money. 
So actually we can resume those. We actually do want second fort somewhere. Can we maybe put it up here somewhere? Let's get some horses. There you go. Um, we'll import weapons, that's good. Um, how about everything here? Yeah, looks fine. 180 in debt, that's fine. Good, good, good. So we still have unemployment, so let's start working on our monument. <sighs> Lovely. This looks so good. I'm very happy about how this looks. We can decorate as soon as we make some more money. Um, we can think about... Um, they need appetizing food. We do have appetizing food, so actually let's just evolve this so we really have enough workers to do everything we need. We also quickly need to check. Yen loves me, that's nice how far this guy walks. Okay, until here, that's not so far. But it will do. We have money, great, so let's start producing some stone. We will here only accept stone and then have some stoneworks. Two, three, four. Everything of this should be covered. Yes, employees need it, that's why we evolve our houses. Let's just make sure. Don't they talk? Not another oh. block of stone. Yes, everything is covered. Lovely. So we are already producing some stone. Um, Axes. Yes, yes. Give us all this money. We need to pay for those imports. Uh, this here will probably provide appetizing food soon, I'm assuming. Let's see. Appetizing foods and... Ceramics, okay. We can easily provide ceramics, which reminds me of our gods. Yes, that's all great. Now we're making tons of money um, while we still import weapons silk and lacquer here food is full which is great uh, stone is being produced so let's actually set up our monument production area as i like to call it because people are coming in soon we need Let's quickly pause three warehouses that connect. Yeah, this is not ideal, but I think, well, actually, let's cover it from the back just to make sure nothing collapses like that. And we Actually, can extend this road like that. Roadblock. 
and have an inspector cover this. This should be cover now. And those are going to get stone. And every time they have four units of stone in them, they're going to top it into the monument. Make sure that the these stone workshops are only connected at one point. So they will just dump the stone in and they will distribute normally. Whereas if you connect, for example, the monument on this road, they're going to walk back and forth. And that's also why we don't connect this road because else those stone pusher guys will walk all the way down there, which of course we will not like. But we do have many people in heavenly compounds, that's fine. Um, we do get bean curds, okay. Actually, you know what? No, thank you. I'm busy. And yeah, let's do that. Four stone masons. And yeah, we need workers. Let's just make sure that the monument is taking the hit so everything else is working fine. And now let's see what we can do here. That's a shame. Let's see if we can at least have a upon with bridge over there. We can maybe have a natural pond up here. Yes. Well, actually, let's have two. And let's have some peach trees here in the middle. And then the rest. Oh no, I did want to put a pavilion up here. Beautiful. And then let's just have a row of chair trees along here. Uh, okay, that won't work. And maybe peach. Yeah, it's just gonna have to be peach here because we do, of course, want a hundred percent with feng shui. Uh, let's not celebrate, and then the rest can just be filled in with gardens. Look at that beautiful block. Isn't that just wonderful? So nice. I'm so happy. Uh, let's quickly look over our city. Stone is making its way over there, which is great. Everything seems to be quite stable. Actually, let's decorate our Alice a little bit. Maybe like that. And around the palace you can actually have tan wall. Just to make it look a little bit nicer. Actually we can have a gate here. No one's walking there that doesn't have their destination, so... Yes, very nice. And... We do have a lot of unemployment, so we can try to put in... Another labor camp somewhere, maybe? Um, question is where? Maybe here, if we delete some trees. Labor camp, yes. Yes, no, maybe if we delete some more trees.
Yes, lovely. Our desirability in our here is terrible, but it's okay because everything in our city is very nice. This here has everything they need. We should be shooting the alligators. And we have, still, oh, we have loads of people moving in actually, so actually let's decrease this because we're so rich now and also tax a little bit less also for our people not to get mad. Let's put down some more cherry trees around there. Of course, oh, we were decorating here, forgot, natural pond was not it, maybe a square pavilion, we can put a square pavilion there, and then maybe a statue will work, like that. Put in some trees. And, oh, okay, what happened? Oh, they cannot, let's not do that then, because else they have to walk all the way around to get stone, which of course, yeah, we don't, we don't want my mistake, but no problem. Let's save now that everything seems to be going well. Stone is stacking up. Dirt is constantly being removed, which is great. Yeah, those guys. Yeah, alligator being shot, very nice. Um, yeah, not much else we need to do, really. We decorated, very nice. Oh, over there, we can put in some gardens. And this will look really, really nice with our canal. Maybe we can even take, make our uh, thumbnail like this. It would look really nice. Maybe even have some Tai Chi facilities on the back like that. Yeah, why not? And have some. Yeah, why not? Actually, it will look better if we finish the wall like that. Yes, it's a small hidden park there. And maybe we can even do an epic entrance into our city by having this yes very cool although I'd like it to be symmetrical out of the way and have two more cherry trees like that very nice very nice indeed we need need to leave this open here so our stone carriers can have passage this is nicely stocking up. Food is very stable. We cannot forget about our gods still. So let's give out some ceramics. Um, it went out of here, but many ceramics stocked up. So not a problem. Food, very stable as well. So yeah. What could we do? We could catch an alligator actually to put in our menagerie. Why not? This has all very nicely evolved. We need a hundred workers, but there's 600 people coming in. So I doubt it's going to be a problem. 
Um, maybe we need to double up our entertainment because that's always a little bit an issue. So let's put in another music school and another acrobat if we can. Mm. Maybe if we move this paper maker somewhere. Paper maker. Yeah, now of course. Um, yeah, let, we can actually do that. The people will still have a way through. We do not want to block the road to China. Um, this is almost at its next step. Yen is under attack. We can dispatch our horsemen. Go help Yen. One fort we leave here, just in case someone has the idea to invade us. Which we hope no one does. Let's actually get Nuwa in. Um, we can't give away some hemp. He's joyful. Good. We like that. We will try to catch a salamander, no, not a salamander, alligator for our for our menagerie. This we didn't look at for ages, but this is just working perfectly. Our city is gorgeous. Big fan of this layout. Looks very real in a way. Foods. We could actually. Oh, Happy New Year! Let's do that. Let's celebrate. Uh oh, what do they? What was the problem? Probably entertainment. That's just always a pain. But now we have double the entertainment walkers. So I hope that will be fine. It's just they all go here. <laughs> Yeah, but it's fine. We do have unemployment. We are making almost 10,000 in tax, which is great. So, new house here. Where is she? Is she in our elite housing area? Nope. She's here. Go over here and catch an animal. I wonder we if we can listen what the alligator says. Always funny. Now stone is being delivered. Very nice. Soon we'll have a very nice stone bridge over our canal. Where is Nua? Let's make sure she actually stays here until she caught the animal. Now the stone is being dumped just into the trench, as you can see. So that's the most efficient way to go about it. New uh, is. Yeah, okay. Where are you going? Sure. That's looking good. Yes, very nice. Stone bridge. And let's quickly actually not man the tower. Not that our precious salamander gets shot. It's an alligator, I know. But we want to listen what the, sal uh, the alligator says. I don't mind when they feed me fish and meat, but when they try rice balls and cabbage, ugh. Okay. I 
don't mind when they feed me fish. Ever heard the word endangered? That'll be you when I get out of here. Yeah, always cool to hear. Uh, what does she say? Yes. Good, and um, let's man the tower again. We have a lot of unemployment, but I think just everything is already working as intended, so um, Yen regards this more highly. Um, we fended off the attack, which is also good. We can actually accept some weapons here, maybe if we stole some. Uh, let's save the game for probably a last time before we win. Food here. Actually, let's, because we have this fancy market square here, let's put in another food shop and another, what is lower? Hemp shop, maybe? Just to stabilize this a little bit. I hope the entertainment issue has sorted itself out. Uh, do we have our animal? Yes, very cool. No, I didn't really want to store those weapons here. Actually, let's see if there were any weapons we could. We can actually probably stop importing weapons anyways, but... This here, very stable as well. Nice. Let's go for delicious foods just because we can and have some spices. This mill here needs to hold some spices, some salt, and then just have something like this maybe. This is too little. Let's do eight of the vegetables. Let's try go for delicious food. Delicious food, of course, needs salt and uh, spices. So we can try. Anything else we can do? Not really, but it's fine. Stone, 56 blocks needed. We could actually increase the amount of stone we produce. But let's do that. The rest of our workers put down some more stoneworks. Like that. Victorious soldiers return. Uh, where are they? What happened here? Music, yes, it's always the same. Luckily, we have loads of unemployment, so it shouldn't be an issue. I just don't understand. Maybe if we put another music scroll on this side, we will be able to stabilize. Can we put acrobats here? No, so let's put a music scroll here and see if they walk through here and hopefully provide some more musicians. Yes, maybe that will take care of it. Very annoying is we, we you should technically keep all market squares separate with an own mill and their own 
musicians and acrobats to have full stability, but yeah, here just functions. Or maybe it will be possible, but I think it's better like this, even though, yeah, this here is a little bit of a problem. That's fine. Actually, we could just turn these off for a moment and it will be fine. Um, yeah. Spices have come in and not yet arrived at our mill. Yes, this is re-evolving. We do have both in our market square now. Loads of hemp, loads of ceramics, which reminds me, new wash is still here actually, so let's give her some hemp. Just pleased. I have so much hemp. Crazy. Lots of stone here. Yes, that's also looking good. This here, what is missing? Hemp. But there's an army of hemp pusher guys coming over, so nothing to worry. Over here, we still have both types of artists, so that's also good. Um, what can we give away? Ceramics, I guess. Yes, that was a good decision to give out ceramics. New one, uh, go there forever. And yeah, we still need 48 blocks of stone with loads of stone production now. So we just kind of have to wait, I guess. Everything else. What? Trade route do we still have available? Yen? Oh, they actually love us. Yen buys tea. I think we don't even need to bother. Because our tax income is just amazing. We make about 10,000 in tax. We could even increase the tax rate if we needed more money, but there's no need. On contrary, we could actually even lower our tax rate a little bit. Is this still full? Yes, okay. Maybe at some point we'll get delicious food before we win, but if not, no problem. We could even decorate here a little bit with another IG park pond. Yes, go well here. Have the pond, trees, and gardens. And maybe another plant. Yes. Doesn't that look absolutely amazing? And with the canal going through, it will be so cool. I'm going to save just another time. In case my computer crashes or something like that. We'll want to begin again. Apart from that, it's going great. Chang An loves me, Yen loves me, pretty much everyone loves me, which is good paper. We probably could still produce more paper, but the problem is I don't really have space to put another paper maker with good feng shui. 
So we're just going to leave it. Although I can, yes, let's do that. Let's make sure new uh, actually let's just give her some silk because we can just import some more since now money is no issue we can just start giving away stuff we buy let's put in some gardens here I think they can walk through gardens. Let's just plant a tree here or there just to break the repetitive pattern. Cherry it is. It looks so nice. This has even evolved. How much more stone do we need? Eight blocks. They're on their way. I'm really, really happy how this turned out. We have a great city. Now this doesn't have acrobats again. But... Should be... Okay. Even if we lose some workers because we have so much unemployment anyways. We have some nobles we can ask. Oh, we just missed them. Where are some nobles? We can't wait to see the new drama today. It's the talk of the town. Yes. Very nice. We rarely listen to those guys. We, we rarely have, for example, the, the drama workers or the noble. The Buddhist die, do it here. The temples are visited so infrequently, we might have to go door to door to ask for contributions. I've had bit of water. We can't wait to see the new drama today. It's the talk of the town. Yes. This is almost done, it seems. Four blocks of stone. This end is already done. So... Why are they... Actually, let's cut this road here. Force the hemp guys up so the entertainment walkers walk here. So annoying. Um, oh, here's... Come watch me at the pavilion. It's bound to be another marvelous performance. Come watch me. Come watch me. Okay, it doesn't say anything else. It's bound to be another marvelous performance. So all the materials have arrived, so we can actually just give away some stone to our gods. Because... This is going to be finished any second now. There's an alligator that got shot. Or an emissary. Blocks of stone. Thank you. We don't need them at all, but it's fine. And there you go. Look at that beauty. So nice. So cool. What looks better, that or that? Like that probably is a little bit better. So let's unpost the game. Rank and I'll complete. Yeah, so that was going very well. Uh, we have a beautiful city. Let's quickly pause before we win. We have humble compounds. Actually, we have 150 people instead of 100. We have this 
very cool, I call it handlebar block that's fully decorated. And of course the canal. Yeah, so two full forts that went perfectly. So yeah, let's unpause and win this mission. While we take a last look at our housing block. One, when do we win? Three, two, one, win? No? Okay. So well, let's just enjoy. The Grand Canal is now complete. It is truly a marvel of modern engineering. Though the cost of its construction at times put a severe strain on the economy, commercial products, foodstuffs, and troops can now more efficiently move from one point to another, further strengthening the bonds of the great Sweet dynasty. Yeah, so that was a great mission, I think. Of course, uh, let's quite quickly take a look at our score. And yeah, we will continue in the next episode with the next mission of Emperor Rise of the Milk Kingdom. Until then, have a good one and bye bye.